Turning now to the Air Force, which had arguably the most significant technological and doctrinal development of the week, if not the year. On August 27th, the Department of the Air Force announced the successful first flight of a Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCA, prototype. This is a landmark achievement. The aircraft, identified as General Atomics YFQ-42A, got into the air less than two years after the program was officially launched, a major win for the service's rapid acquisition efforts. A competing prototype from the company Anderol is expected to fly soon as well. To put it plainly, this flight marks the tangible beginning of a fundamental transformation in air power. We are moving away from a reliance on small numbers of incredibly expensive crewed fighter jets to a new paradigm of human-machine teaming. The CCA program is the Air Force's answer to the strategic challenge of generating what it calls an affordable mass. That is, having enough platforms in the air to be effective in a fight against a peer adversary like China. The successful flight proves that the core technology is viable, and it now forces the Air Force to answer a whole host of urgent questions that are previously just theoretical. How do you train pilots to command autonomous wingmen? 